You guys, we have made it to the finale of Advent Calendar Week and I am so excited for this one. Oh my gosh, who is this fancy girl? We are gonna be opening the Christian Louboutin Advent Calendar. I wanted to say this was gonna be our most pricey advent calendar, but I did open an MFK one over on my scent channel, so if you missed that one and you really, really wanna go bougie, check it out. But this one is no joke at $600. That's how much this advent calendar costs, so I'm excited to see what's in here. As always, I don't spoil myself, so I am assuming it's gonna be some beauty stuff. We're really delving into a new realm. I will say, when we get into these luxury beauty advent calendars, I've been opening a lot that are like, the departments are kind of getting a bunch of brands together and putting them in a calendar but because this is one brand we're gonna be getting all stuff from Christian Louboutin and I do feel like that makes the value just kind of immediately lessened in a way like I just don't feel like what we should expect from this is this huge value past what it costs instead I feel like brand specific advent calendars are more of an experience they're more about being a stan of a brand essentially and really getting into the world so let's get into it let's see if it's worth it I will say this thing is beautiful but the calendar itself is so stunning like already packaging wise experience wise this is beautiful it is a train so each day is a different piece of the train and I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to put it together obviously I haven't done that yet but I will definitely be showing you that at the end and the attention to detail so far looks stunning so I'm very excited but I do want to pop in really fast to say if you watch the net porte unboxing and if you haven't I will leave it linked down below along with the rest of advent calendar week along with the rest of the advent calendar playlist I just wanted to correct because I said oh I think this thing lights up and then I was like no actually it doesn't lol nope um it does look at this well I don't think you can even see it but <laughs> But there is a dangling little light in here. And so it was just really nice to see that there was that attention to detail. I had to like pop out a trap door essentially in here. But anyway, just wanted to correct that because I found that out this morning and was like, oh, thank goodness. I'm so glad the packaging had that. And if any of you guys ordered it, I wanted you guys to know because I think that's a nice little touch. Okay, truly though, without further ado, let's get into this baby. We're gonna start with day number one naturally. And day number one is pretty big. It's like the conductor, Luby Express is what it says on here. I'm gonna be so careful opening this because I really wanna keep these boxes for later. This is an advent calendar for me that I definitely am gonna cherish and I think it's so holiday, like it's its own decor as packaging. And getting into the first item here, this is a Louboutin Velvet Eye Definer and I believe it's just in a black shade, so let's swatch it. Very beautiful, the only Louboutin makeup thing that I've ever purchased, I wanna say. Let me grab it. It's this mascara, this is the Lift Ultima and it is so heavy, really like luxurious. The packaging itself is super weighted and I really enjoy the mascara too. I'm wearing it today and I've really enjoyed it since I've had it, but <laughs> it is stupid expensive. It's like $57 and I think that was on Selfridges, which might've made it a little bit cheaper than if you bought it in the States. But back to the black eyeliner, let's get a swatch of this baby. Let's see how creamy it is. Seems nice and it is like a sharpenable pencil. So it kind of is reminding me in a way of like the Urban Decay one, something like that. But it has like the custom top on it. It's pretty long overall. There's also this sticker on it, which is kind of annoying. Like I can't wait to rip it off cause it's really, <laughs> it's like already coming up at the edges. So I'll probably rip that off, but a very useful item. Let's look up the price of this. All right, so the eyeliner retails for $45. So 45 toward our $600 total. We have a lot to go, uh, but that's just day one. And we do have 25 days. On the end here, there is like a little uh, cardboard, I'm sure to attach it, but it's pretty flimsy. I don't know how much that's going to actually like hold up. All right, let's open up day number two here. This one is a little bit heavier, so I am excited. <gasps> Look at this. Okay, this looks like the full-size lipstick. Wow, look at that. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just the case, you guys. There's no lipstick color. I was like, let's swatch it. Take the cap off, literally freaking nothing in there. I'm sure this retails for a lot on its own, but like put the lipstick in there. Okay, we gotta keep going to other days so we can actually have like lipstick in our lipstick, you know? So it seems like a lipstick with the casing would cost $100. So um, yeah, and then the refill is $45. So I'm not really sure. I guess we'll put that at a $55 value since you can then buy the refill 
refill and together those equal the cost of the lipstick if you were to buy it but I mean beautiful packaging very heavy the bottom has a little bit of like a white dot on it it's like not all the way red so I don't know who I'm telling you you got to be a stan of these brands when it comes to a brand specific advent calendar all right we're on to day number three let's see what's in here oh my gosh okay this one has a little tape none of the other ones did and you better believe I'm gonna be gentle opening this thing I'm telling you I'm that girl right now who's like gently unwrapping their gift to save the wrapping paper that's how I feel all right all right here we go this looks like it's gonna be a mini perfume that's what I think it's gonna be one of the reasons I decided to go with this advent calendar this year is one because it was very expensive luxurious seemed exciting but also I knew that they had some fragrances and I was obviously super excited to potentially get those too this little mini bottle is adorable this is luby doo so let's smell it they have these tops on them so cute Ooh, this smells nice it's giving me Delina vibes kind of like it's reminding me probably something rosy so luby doo has notes of strawberry rose and cedar that's what I see on fragrantica I think this one's really nice actually I'm super excited to have this mini bottle I already collect mini bottles if you don't know so to have some that are so beautiful they have just really cute toppers I'm excited to add it it's not always my favorite that it's a dabber but for the cuteness factor I like it. And to give you guys an idea of prices on these perfumes, a 50 mil retails for 200, the 90 mil retails for 320. I want to see if they have any like mini kits. Okay, they do. They have a miniature set, which comes with, it comes with seven minis for $320. So let's get a value. So this is about a $45 value is what I'm going to calculate all the minis as. So it feels like so far, every single item has had about a $45 retail value or like value for the calendar. So if that keeps up, you know, that'll definitely add up fast. I don't know so far this is my favorite item all right we're on to number four let's get this baby open oh it looks like we finally have something to go in that lipstick think about it you're opening this day one you're like okay got a little black eyeliner let's do something smoky day two you get a case and you go I guess I'll bring this in my purse as a wait like what are you supposed to do with it until you get to day four you have to go so many days without even being able to use that case you know what I mean <laughs> you have to get through the perfume before you even get to this anyway we finally have gotten here that's what matters I'm nervous like I don't know okay here we go this is the shade Rouge Louboutin and I believe it's in the so glow formula which it's not even rolling up so let's put it in here that's what we need to do we'll unlock the mystery <laughs> I am like scared I'm gonna break this thing <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, did we do it? Okay, we've done it. My goodness. Okay, so we finally have a full on lipstick. Together, this retails for 100. So that's what I'm gonna count this as the value. Beautiful tube, beautiful packaging. I mean, it's stunning. It's really stunning. And like I said, this is kind of like a glossy lipstick, but really beautiful. Never tried any of the lipsticks from Louboutin. Again, I've only ever tried that mascara, which when I was looking at the website, it retails for 55 on there. So I hope I only paid 55 and didn't pay 57 because I would have paid even more for it. All right, so that's day number four. And they did have some instructions in there in case you were like, I couldn't do that on my own. They do let you know because it's a little scary. You're like, this thing costs so much money. Am I about to like literally break it? So a total value of 190 so far. I paid 600 for it. So we're keeping up there. We're almost at a third. That's pretty good on day four. But let's get into number five. This one's pretty light feeling. Ooh, not a fan. Not a fan. For $600, I am sorry, but I don't want a sample size. Yes, you could consider this a sample size, but I think there is a clear difference between this, which is decorative and beautiful in its own right, even though it's a mini and this vial. I have gotten these vials for free. I have gotten these as gift with purchase. I do not feel like this belongs in the box. To me, this doesn't really have value and I feel like it is really lame, really lame. This isn't luxury. This is so... <laughs> This is a bit insulting, but the perfume that it is, it's Luby Prince and all right, I'm definitely getting a spiciness and also a little bit of something sweet and I don't know if it's like Tonka or something like that, like really smooth. It's really nice. All right, so Luby Prince has labdanum, sandalwood and Tonka bean. I am proud of that one. I don't know where this spice is necessarily coming from, but it's definitely like a warm, cozy kind of scent. I do like it. Would have loved to get this in the mini bottle because the bottle itself has like the snake on it. It's from a bit of a different line than this and it's kind of frightening me <laughs> a bit if I'm being honest. The fact that a vial size like this is even a possibility in this $600 calendar yeah. I mean, is that not a horror story to you? <laughs> is that not absolutely terrifying to you? I don't know. To me it is, but at least it smells good, I guess. All right, with that, let's go on to number six. Oh no. Oh no, you guys. I mean, I said it. You have to be a stan, okay? So this 
is a bracelet maybe? What the absolute hell? All right, I've untangled it. I don't know what it is. So this looks like kind of a, um, a rough kind of crude representation of a shoe, which I don't mind as a charm here, but I don't think this actually would fit on anyone's wrist. Like sometimes the bracelets just don't fit on my wrist because again, they're a little chunky, but I mean, this is only gonna fit on a kid's wrist. So I'm like, is this for a bag charm? Is this for... I mean, it's so tiny. I'm telling you, it's very tiny. We're just getting little bric-a-brac knickknacks over here of Christian Louboutin. I will look this up at the end to see what the heck that is. But again, really, does that have value? I don't even know. I would prefer a Christmas ornament than this. What is this? <laughs> All right, we're on to number seven. I can't believe we're already a week in. Mm. Oh my gosh, three in a row. We've just been hit left, right, left. I cannot handle it. Luby crown, Luby crown in the freaking sample size. This is insulting. And I think this is an example too, like these designer things, just cause it's designer does not mean it's going to be luxury where I feel like I got really lucky with so many other uh, advent calendars where I really felt like I was getting great value, getting some really high end products. Yes, there might be a few duds in there, but there were definitely enough to cover the cost of what the advent calendar was. But when you're getting into this price point, you're just paying for the name, you're paying for the designer, but what are you getting? Are you getting luxury stuff or are you just getting the name. Like designer, is it luxury? Ugh. In terms of pound calendars, I'm not sure at this point. Like I am, I was so excited for this. I love the Christmas theme, but this I thought would be a Christmas miracle. I thought it'd be a great finale. <laughs> and it's turning into a Christmas nightmare. <laughs> anyway, Luby Crown, let's smell it though. Let's give it a sniff. And it's kind of annoying too, because I really feel like they could have just made these, the minis, and I really wouldn't have the complaints. I mean, besides this. I don't know, man. Okay, Luby Crown kind of smelled a little bit, I don't know, ambery to me, but it's more woody. It has cedar, patchouli, and tonka in here. It's nice. I feel like it's pretty unisex, maybe even leaning a little bit masculine on this one, but I do like it. I think it's a nice perfume. Wish I got more than a little vial of it. <laughs> Wish I did. So, so far, if we're calculating total, we've opened three more boxes and we're still at a value of $190 to me. We were doing so well. <laughs> and now I'm like terrified to open these. I'm like, what is day eight gonna bring? What's gonna be in here? a mini mascara so it's a mini actually of the mascara i have so this is what the full size looks like and this is the mini they gave it's not a nice packaging it's just a little sample again this is gift with purchase type of bullshit and i just feel like for the price we're paying figure it out <laughs> Figure it out. Woo, and it's sold out on the website. It is completely sold out. If someone bought this for you, what would you have to complain about? It's free. But if you've bought this for yourself, tell me if you feel like it was worth it. I just, this is a gift to someone else if you have the money and $600 is the equivalent of like maybe a hundred for you, right? But for yourself, if you had $600, buy your own full size bottle of perfume, buy the mascara, buy like the few things you actually want from the beauty brand instead of getting mini samples of the whole line which are just kind of trashy, kind of trashy. All right, on to number nine. Here we go, let's go. <sighs> My husband was so excited. He was like, can't wait to know what was in here. Well, he is gonna be disappointed. Disappointed. You guessed it, another fucking sample. I'm sorry to cuss, but I think the moment calls for it. I really do at this point. This is Luby Raj. So the fact that I'm sitting here opening samples, it's absolute utter bullshit. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Luby Raj. This is smelling powdery, like powdery. It says musky, leathery, has pink pepper, suede, and cedar in it. Not my favorite. This one is definitely not for me. Um, it is musky, but maybe on skin it'll warm up a bit, but it's almost smelling like a little bit like a hairspray or I don't know, something powdery like that. So don't even like that sample. Oh my gosh. It's just like, it feels like life where you're like, no, it'll get better. It'll get better. Disappoints you. No, it'll get better. It'll get better. Disappoints you. No, it'll get better. It'll get better. Disappoints you yet again like I'm like really at this point this is crazy to me like this is like worse than even okay I'm like okay some of these little vials are gonna be in here this is our fourth one so far okay Luby horse I like I just still can't believe I'm like putting little vials on these strips I just when I envision myself opening this calendar today this was not what I <laughs> I was like, this is gonna be so great, it's gonna be so fun. What a finale. I mean, it's a finale, don't get me wrong. It's just not the finale I wanted, it really isn't. Okay, Luby Horse. This one's vanilla in the base, but it has bergamot and neroli in here, but I'm telling you, I get something kind of spicy from it. Like, it's fresh, I definitely smell the vanilla and I smell the citrus, but the neroli is not too much. Sometimes neroli can be a little bit much for me, but I like this one. Luby Horse is pretty good. Um, 
wish I could have a little bottle. Again, if they were all these little bottles, I would not be sitting here complaining, but we're moving on to day 11 and our total still stands at $190. At this point, I'm just hoping and begging for literally like anything that isn't that. Okay, here we are. Um, now we have just another refill tube, which I'm like, are we supposed to be changing out this case with the lipsticks? And then what, we just keep these little plastic pieces? Like, who thought of this? Who thought of this, seriously? Because I also don't know, like, how am I supposed to roll up the lipstick if it's not in the case? Okay, I'm scared I'm gonna break that. I'm gonna just say like, I don't think this is gonna happen at this point. I have no reason to believe we will get another case in here because they're stingy mother effers and um, I'm, I just don't believe that we will. But it's a more neutral color. This is the So Glow same formula, but this is in Peach Cabaret. So let's just hope we have a case coming down the line. It's day 11, we've opened it up and we might have to wait till day 14 to be able to use that lipstick, who knows? Maybe we'll have to finish up the other lipstick before we can ever use that one. I don't know what they're expecting here. Well, it's definitely not in here because this baby is super light. I feel, I mean, I'm doing this for a video, so it's not the same as me just buying this for myself. So in that way, like this is still fine, but oh my gosh, if anyone else bought this, just like truly, what the fuck? Okay, I really love this one, Luby Croc. That one smells good. Honestly, at this point, absolutely pissed that I'm <laughs> taking it out of a vial. Absolutely livid, absolutely seething. Okay, Luby Croc says, woody, powdery, warm, spicy, makes sense. It's myrrh, sandalwood, and also cypher oil. I do like that. I don't know if I guess I would wear it, but I do really like smelling it. It's a nice woody scent, but it's still kind of earthy. Like, I don't know, the myrrh in there is definitely giving it, I feel like a deepness. Also probably that cypher oil. So, I mean, at this point, I'm genuinely trying not to just lose it, you guys. So, number 13, here we go. Okay, there's something in here. A lipstick case? Oh, this one already has a lipstick in it. That's good. <laughs> this is, you know, the bar is set in hell. So, um, yeah. This is the Lipstick Velvet Matte On The Go. Uh, I guess these are the On The Go ones. They're in like really cheap packaging. I mean, this thing is so lightweight. I don't know how to explain it to you. Like everything about this feels pretty cheap again. So it's a matte lipstick. Let's swatch it though. At least we can swatch it and all that. Beautiful color. Really like the color of this lipstick and I'm excited to try the matte formula. So the on the go lipsticks retail for $50. Again, I think that is pretty ridiculous considering I'm telling you the component on this contrasted to how heavy this is. I mean, this is like metal. This is just like the lightest weight plastic, like the lightest weight. It probably weighs the same as a wet and wild, okay? But they retail for 50. So at least I can add that on. It's a $50 value. We're at 240. <laughs> We've at least gone up on day 13, finally, a little bit more. I'm really just sitting here trying to figure out like, who is this for? Because it feels like at this point, like who would create this thinking anyone would enjoy this? I don't understand that, which then makes me just feel like you think people are stupid. Like, I don't know, it feels insulting. <laughs> I'm literally like, what the? absolute heck. I do not understand it. I truly do not understand it. All right, this one's heavy. I'm hoping it's a, a perfume. That's what I'm thinking because it also has the tape and the last one had the tape. So at least we're getting another mini bottle. That'll be $45 to add to our total here. And we got Luby Rouge, which I think is one of the more popular ones. I really like that one. I think it has cardamom in it if I can remember, but also I can smell that cardamom. Yeah, top on this cardamom iris vanilla. Very nice, very cozy, a nice like skin scent, a little bit powdery, but has a nice touch of sweet and again, that spice is really great. So very happy to get another mini perfume bottle. Never thought I'd be like just frothing at the mouth to get one of these, but at this point I am just like, thank, thank you for not giving me another Viola. <laughs> so we're sitting at 285 and you know what? Usually it's hard for me to keep track of like, what's the value at so far because we're just getting so much good stuff. I can't possibly keep it all up in this noggin while also opening everything else. But because it's so slow moving and um, disappointing, I can just keep track of it right here. That is not a good sign. All right, on to 15, that jingle jangle sound. So help me, so help me. If you guessed we were getting a shoe charm, you were right. That's it, 
nothing else. No way to clasp this on. It's not even like a little lobster clasp. Trash. You know, I felt like the Ipsy one scammed me, but at least they were only charging me $150, <laughs> you know, and I actually got some full-size products. There was some stuff going on. This, my friends, is a true scam. This really is a true scam. We're on to day number 16 though, and we got another mini perfume. Okay, thank the Lord. Cute little bottle. It has like a little skeleton on the top. This one is Luby Kiss, so let's give it a sniff. Ooh, it's kind of floral powdery, at least initially. I don't know if it's tuberose, gardenia, something like that. Here we go. Jasmine, tuberose, musky, and woody notes. As much as I'm usually not into it, and this is definitely not the perfume for me, like I'm not gonna go out and buy this scent for me to wear, but I don't hate it as much as I would think I would. So um, I really feel like their line of perfume is pretty likable overall. On to day number 17 though. Let's keep it going. Toxic positivity. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Now we're getting Christian Louboutin, a uh, little charm, CL, trash, negative $20, negative $100. <laughs> we must continue on. Day 18, another vial of perfume. This is so trash, you guys. Like I'm genuinely, again, I, I did this for the video. I bought this for the video. I knew that was the intention, but if I had even remotely bought it wanting to be surprised for myself. Um, and even there's a part of me obviously that was like, ooh, I'm excited to get this and I didn't spoil myself. If I had spoiled myself, if I had seen this, I would have second guessed this, okay? Uh, but genuinely kind of pissed to be honest. Luby Luna, Luby Luna, okay. Ooh, I like this one. It kind of smells like Santal 33. I think this is the one that I remember being like, yeah, that smells like Santal 33. So um, there's fig, cedar, and papyrus. So I don't get a ton of fruitiness from the fig. It's almost coming off if anything. Like again, there's like a spice and I could almost say there's like a slight mintiness, not totally, but just the tiniest bit. It's very interesting, very woody though. And maybe the papyrus is giving it something kind of spicy, but it's definitely giving me like minty Santal 33 vibes for some reason. Let's get this torture show on the road. Let's go, let's keep going. Um, we have yet another charm, okay? This one's at least heavy. It does have some weight to it. So like if this was the only charm we got, I would still be kind of like what the absolute hell, but at least it has some weight to it. Is this supposed to be a charm bracelet or it's a charm thing to go around our purse? I bet you that's what they want us to do. The fact that they think each charm is good enough to be a day, delusional, delusional, honestly. Hey, this is designer luxury, baby. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't need it. Okay. Day number 20 looks different than the other ones. Um, You know, it says Miss Luby Star. I don't think it has any indication. It doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> On anything in here. This is literally like so sad. This is just like, it makes me go, oh, it's so pathetic to them. But then I'm the sucker that bought it. So they're saying it to me too. It's going back and forth. It's an echo chamber. So right now I'm spilling a bunch of Luby Funk all over me. <laughs> That's the name of the perfume. Luby Funk. Ooh, that one's nice. Kind of tart. I kind of like that one. I literally did not know I was buying a sample vial set of perfumes for $600. Like I didn't realize with a little charm on the side. There's black currant in here. So it's giving, I think that tang. There's some rose and some patchouli. Really nice. Really like this one. Right now it's giving me a little bit of like Blackberry and Bay vibes from Jo Malone, but like the more substantial version of that. Really nice. Actually really like that. Very refreshing. A nice springtime perfume, I would say. All right, 21 is heavy 21 can you do something for me can you okay promising thank the lord but seriously we haven't gone up from 310 what was the last total 330 anyway this is actually something good this we got like a full on a whole product i can't believe it one whole product i hope the eyeshadows in here and we don't have to go to another day for them oh and it's pretty and this is like something i actually almost bought so i'm glad i didn't Jeez. uh this is an eyeshadow duo let's get some swatches here okay so this is the Abracadabra Le Duo in Hot Nudes Chip. Those are all the names kind of on the back. And these little duos retail for $50. So we'll add 50 to the total, puts us at 380. These seem fine, very light. I'm into this type of eyeshadow, so I'm sure I'll get some use out of it. But honestly, these two colors look very similar. Like almost indistinguishable to be honest on my hand. But if every day was this, I really would be fine. I'd be absolutely fine with that. On to day 22, this one also seems heavy. I don't know if they're like trying to warm us back up here at the end. We got a mini perfume, another $45 value here. Ooh, and this one is the cute one. I love the little scarab bottle from this line. This is the one with only like three perfumes. So this one is called Luby Charm. Okay, this one does smell pretty good. It's incense, rose, geranium, and patchouli. Surprised, I usually don't love 
love geranium. I usually don't love patchouli. And even rose can sometimes be something for me, but maybe the incense is just kind of grounding it and swirling it all together, but pretty nice. Okay, the fact that I'm sitting here like, Thank God we got a mini perfume instead of, they don't say how much is on here. It's obviously more than a two mil, but I mean, can't be more than five, can't be more than five. So probably three to four mil sample. That is, <laughs> don't make me say it, don't make me. 23 again, we have another heavy one and it also is taped up. So I'm like, are we getting another mini bottle here? These last couple of days have definitely been better, but the entire calendar for the price, I'm telling you, should have been this, really should have been this. And here we have Luby Mar, I believe. Yeah, this one's Luby Mar. I'm definitely getting beachy. I'm getting some citrus. This to me is like a sunscreeny kind of fragrance. So sea salt, lemon, tuberose, and musk. It's nice, it's fresh. Not necessarily the perfume for me, but I totally can see a lot of people liking that one. So, so far I believe we're sitting at $470 worth of value and it's the 23rd. So they really better hit it home or literally this is like a loss of money. All right, here we go, 24. Another lipstick, so this is a $50 value. It's one of the silky satins, but it's in the on-the-go lipstick, and it's called Private Red. Again, very lightweight. This is just plastic, you guys, and it feels cheap. Like, there are other lipstick tubes that are plastic that I have that do not feel that cheap. But here we are, another red lipstick. I'll compare it to the other red we've already opened. I can't remember what this red one is, but this one is more uh, pinky. But I mean, that's pretty similar. I know there's undertones, things look different, but like, <laughs> I really feel like the thought for this calendar was like, if I were trying to construct the worst advent calendar I possibly could, what would I do? That was the prompt. Okay, I'm sitting here being like, let me look for 25. There has to be a 25. There is not a 25. This ends at 24. We've done it. I mean, I think it's only fitting that the finale of the finale, the last box, the last one goes off like that. I wanna say this is the worst advent calendar I freaking opened. When we talk about price for what we're getting, sure, there are some nice pieces in here. I think this is a really nice lipstick. Sure a little eyeliner, I'll take it. These on the go lipsticks, not my favorite personally, but at least it's something. But this alone is not even half the box value. And these are the best things that we got. Everything else, I mean, I'm still sitting here with a lipstick without a tube. <laughs> I'm still sitting here like, how the hell do I use? I can't even use all the lipsticks at the same time. I will say I like the minis. I wish just everything came with a mini. I know these are expensive, but this whole box was expensive. This whole thing was expensive. By me paying the 600, at least, I feel like the least you can do is give more of the mini perfumes. Are you kidding me? This mascara, criminal. Put the full size in. Put the full size in, figure out a way. I don't know how, but figure it out. For samples, I got not one, not two. <laughs> not three or four or five or six, but an entire seven days, a whole week of this advent calendar was samples, free gift with purchase samples. I literally have gone to the store in Vegas and they gave me three of these samples for free. Didn't buy anything. Like who knew how much of a value I was getting that day? Jeez, holy crap. And if those weren't insulting and horrible enough, I can't believe the little charm to be honest. Not exactly how I thought I was gonna end this video. I was so excited for the packaging on this, the little trains and putting them together and having them for holidays to come. But honestly, it's just gonna give me bad memories of how much I got ripped off in this advent calendar. I think this is definitely an example of like these brand specific ones really, really, really don't house the value. I really don't know what they were thinking. I really am trying to sit here and be like, how could anyone be like, look at all this little junk. They're gonna eat it up, they're gonna love it, which just, again, feels insulting for anyone buying this, anyone wanting to buy from this brand. And you know, they wanna give off designer, they wanna give off luxury, they wanna give off quality, but this does not feel quality to me. And I just feel like, why, why, why? I'm gonna tally it up again together. I know, I just can't believe it. I got five of the mini perfumes. I'm gonna count these as $45 each. So that puts us at 225. The eyeshadow duo is $50. The full lipstick with the bullet in it is $100. Each of the on the go cheaper lightweight lipsticks are $50 each, so another $100. And the eyeliner is $45. So that puts us at 520 right now. And then the only other things that I feel like are worth even potentially thinking about giving value are these two items one being the little tiny mascara sample that's like a Sephora 100 point perk and then an unhoused just you know butt ass naked lipstick over here <laughs> that I'm supposed to be like wow luxury Louboutin thank you I love this 
I mean, what do you put this as a value? I mean, I guess you buy the lipstick refills for 50. I guess technically I'll add that in this. There's no way I'm giving it more than $10. I just feel like it's a pretty dinky sample. I'm just going to say $10 guys. And then personally, I refuse to count these. These are free samples. They really are. I mean, I'm grateful. They're not the little tiny two mil. They're more than that, but no way I'm not counting them. I just really, those are literally, I've literally gotten them for free. All right. I wanted to pop in here when I was like doing more research as I was editing the video. I saw that they do sell a set of these vials for $60 for seven of them. So as much as I obviously do not want to count them, that could be an additional $60 going toward the quote unquote value if we were calculating it that way. As for the charms, I'm sorry. These also really don't have value. You cannot tell me that this shoe costs more than 50 cents to make, that the CL costs more than 50 cents to make. This one, I'll give it to you. This one probably was 75 cents. It's heavy, okay? But please, this one maybe is a dollar because it has a chain on it. Okay, similar to the vials, as much as I do not find very much value in these charms, again, I found out that these are charms for the lipstick. So I feel like you could calculate them if you're trying to give them a value of $20 a piece but um yeah I obviously didn't do that but I just thought I would come in here and let you guys know that those are being sold so that puts us at 580 you guys 580 yeah very disappointing I know it was a high price point but all the stuff that they have is expensive if they had only just put in a few more lipsticks or a few more of these or really any of the other makeup items that they carry that they have we could have got there easy we could have easily gotten there they sell high price stuff. I don't want to keep bragging on and on. I can't believe this is the way we're finishing advent calendar week, but I hope you enjoyed the series. If you didn't catch them, I will leave the playlist down below. You can check out all the other amazing ones. I'm telling you, there are some really, really good ones out there. Um, this one is not a good example of a good advent calendar, but let me know your thoughts. How would you feel if you paid $600 for this calendar? If you were gifting it, if it was for you, would you be happy? Would you be just okay? Would you be genuinely pissed like myself? Like, I think if anything, I'm like shocked right now. Like I'm sitting here absolutely shocked that this is what I opened. I have been waiting to open this. I have had this for a while. I've been savoring it and it was beyond disappointing. Beyond disappointing. I think it just had so much potential. It could have been so good. And to see what they've done with it, Mm, 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 mm. shameful shameful thank you all so much for your support and love of these videos i am sorry to disappoint you but i hope at least it was entertaining at least it was something for you anyway let me know your thoughts thank you guys so much for watching i'm hoping to have another video up before the end of the year but if not i hope you guys have a great holiday and i will see you with new videos soon but with that i'm actually leaving bye guys <laughs>